Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. I'm going to read some of what I uh, read last night, what I preached from at the church there at Charity Free Will Baptist, 1 Kings chapter 19. Now, of course, this is after uh, Elijah is on the run from uh, Ahab and Jezebel. Jezebel threatens his life. He's on the run. Verse 4 says that he went himself a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, It is enough now. O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. And he came thither unto a cave and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him and said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts for the children of Israel, have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I, only am left and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind and an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. And it was so when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went and stood in the entering end of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? And of course, he says the same thing. I'm one of your top men and I'm about the only one left. And God says, No, that's not the case. There's, there's 7,000 that haven't even bowed the knee to Baal. God lets us know that he loves us. And he does it in ways sometimes that if we will just slow down long enough and listen. Uh, he can speak to us in ways that, uh, that others cannot. He can give us peace. He can give us the comfort that we have need of when others can't. Um, just uh, recently, just going through a little um, turmoil, I'm laying in the bed, uh, one night and it's kind of restless and and uh, my wife uh, just um, reaches over and grabs me by the hand pulls my head up next to hers and starts praying for me that God would give me peace that he would comfort me and next thing you know I fell asleep I woke up in the morning and even through the next day I thought wow just what a prayer will do. I wrote this song for her. I've sang it here before, but I wrote this song for Teresa when her grandfather died back in 1996, and so we'll give it a shot here today as well. Here I am again, Lord, on my knees to you. But I think this is a valley that I can It seems I've lost the strength that you once gave to me. All I'm asking, Lord, is that you grant my plea. Tell me again how much you love me. Satan 
tells me you don't care and help me lord to see the flowers while i'm here sometimes lord i feel just like elijah there's no one left and i am here alone help me lord to see the victory up ahead please give me strength to just keep pressing on tell me again how much you love me show me again that you're still there just let me feel your arms around me when Satan tells me and help me Lord to see the flowers while I'm here help me Lord to see the flowers while I'm here Lord I do pray that you would watch over and bless Lord you know the needs today God you know the funeral I'll speak at today God I pray for that family that you will bless I pray for the wife that you will bless her Lord and uh, as she um, as she deals with uh, the loss of a husband of 60 some years God I pray that you would encourage her and give her the help and the strength that she has need of Lord we love you Lord and we thank you and we're thankful to know that we're not alone that you love us and you care for us in Jesus name Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Friday.